What's up, everybody? Big Herc916, and you tuned into another edition of my vlog. Hit the subscribe button, man. Don't be scared. Don't be afraid to get the alerts so when a new video drops, you can be up on game. You know, I talk about everything on this channel, from relationships to uh, motivation to cars, you know, a little bit of everything. But, um, you know, I try to keep everybody on a positive tip and, and making positive changes in their life, you know, better choices than what I made in mine. And today I want to talk about the bad choice John Chow made by going to the North Sentinel Island, messing with the Sentinelese people. He knew not to go over there. You know, he, he went under the guise as a Christian missionary but he was also an adventurer, a thrill seeker, and he felt that it was his mission in life to go see these people, which was against the law, by the way. They had a law protecting these people for a reason, and yet he felt that it didn't apply to him, so he paid some fishermen to take him there anyways, and he was met with a uh, tragic death, poison arrows, they lit his ass up. And, you know, using the guise of Christianity to try to uh, violate international law is no excuse. You know, these are, they say, uh, descendants from Africa that traveled there over 30,000 years ago, have been living amongst themselves and had previously uh, showed the same uh, hostile reaction to people trying to visit prior and uh, others have met their own fate by trying to come and interact. They don't want interaction. These are actually the Africans who were able to fight off colonialism, imperialism, and had they did more of that in Africa, we probably wouldn't be in the state we're in now with a lot of the black folks mad at each other because they went through all this fucking slavery bullshit. But going back to John Chow trying to uh, communicate with these people who didn't want to be communicated with, I feel like, you know, it's just people can't leave well enough alone. These people, they, they don't need Christianity in their life. They had no need for it. It's the same thing you told the Aborigines. It's the same thing they try to tell the Mayans. It's the same thing they try to tell the Africans. In the name of Jesus Christ, we're going to come over here and save you. And then you brought all kind of diseases and all type of ailments and shit that just wiped out the population. You know, the common flu could have killed the whole tribe, but you didn't care. You still want to go over there, man, and, and, and somehow make a mark like you, you made history like a dumbass. Lessons learned, man. These people don't want to be bothered. They're protected by the government and everybody else respects it. So why don't the other people out there respect it too? You know, you always want, what you want to bring them a cell phone? You think they need a, a TV, you know, an iPad? They don't need none of that, man. They've, they're doing well on their own. You want to come over there and examine their people to see how they've been surviving, man? Just leave them alone. They don't need you to examine shit. They don't need the Bible. They don't need any of that. They have whatever they have they believe in, and that's the reality. Their reality is not heaven and hell. And if it is, then they have their own, uh, you know, description of it that doesn't need your interpretation. They don't need you coming over there trying to tell them how they need to leave, live their life. Everybody's always trying to tell somebody else how they need to live their life, man. And that's the problem with the world today. Everybody trying to impose their reality on the next person. And when it happens to be a situation like this that's fatal, you know, people get all emotional. And it's sad for the family of Chow that they had to, you know, hear this from media across the world. But he had no business going over there. And I feel for the people over there because, uh, like they said, they don't have the 
the the, Im the Im immunity system, you know, to where they can fight off a lot of these different diseases and stuff. You know, you come over there and, and a cold might kill them. And so you would risk going over there coughing on somebody, killing them and their kids because you wanted to uh, make your mark. Hey, man, it, it's just, it's pretty pathetic, man. You know, North Sentinel Islands, you know, they, they didn't have no problems with anybody. It ain't like these people have been going out on their rafts, invading other islands, you know, seeking medical attention, seeking, uh, um, you know, technology. They ain't been asking for anything. <laughs> They've been for 30,000 years doing their thing. Let them continue to do their thing, man. He tricked everybody else around the world under the guise of religion. And more deaths have been the cause of religion than anything else. He wiped out whole whole populations over that. The first slave ships were named under the guise of religion. And now we over here, you know, it's just, you look at years and years and just how messed up people are because of just what they were indoctrinated into. And you want to indoctrinate these people, put clothes on them. Oh, cover your, cover your privates up. Oh, take the, take the, the bones or whatever you got in your mouth out. Take all that, cut your, cut your hair, do this. Why? Why? Why do they have to do everything you tell them to do? They're not bothering you. It's, it's, it's the same thing. It's been repeated throughout history. Cut your braids off. Take this out. Dress like this. Submit. Read this book. Maybe this is a wake-up call. And, it's, it, it, and, and people kind of take a step back and realize that not everybody wants to hear what you have to say. And... You, you, you know, trying to base your life off of likes and, and views for social media, documenting your adventures is not worth it. Leave well enough alone, man. Some people ain't asking for the help of a missionary. They do it all the time, going to somebody's country they know they're not supposed to be in. Leave it alone. They don't need you over there. What are you going to try to do? Implement that and bring in some other political agenda? Leave it alone, man. Mind your business. It's a repetitive cycle and people are hip to it now. If they want it, they'll go find it. If otherwise, they don't need it. Big Herc 916.